Hi, babies. This post is for the men. So if you're a man, continue to watch. Okay, so um, I stitched the video again. So you can go back to watch it for more context. But uh, no, disrespect for, no disrespect to her or any woman that posts stuff like this on TikTok or any type of social media. But in my opinion, all that all that is bullshit. And the only reason I say that is because you have women out here like her. Like, again, no disrespect to her at all. But you have women out here that claim, you know, a man's right advocate or advocating for man. Uh, they believe in man. Um, uh, you could talk to us about your mental health, uh, safe space, anything like that. All that is bull shit. I do not care. All that is BS. And the only reason I say that, and I'm again, I'm speaking from experience. It's probably not like this for everybody, but I'm speaking from experience. The one that I thought I was going to marry, the one I thought I was going to be with for the rest of my life, showed me that that's, that's BS. You know what I'm saying? The females that I dealt with throughout my life also came to me in that same manner. You know, you could talk to me. You could be emotionally vulnerable. You could open up. You could do this and that. Bullshit. Don't do it. Don't do it. In my opinion, I I wouldn't want y'all to do that. I honestly feel like we need to come together as men, man to man type shit, you know what I'm saying? And talk to each other. Because females will say one thing and do another and I, I honestly I I think it's bullshit. Unless I, until I find a female, I probably don't I, a relationship's probably not even for me right now. That I probably just need to focus on myself. But until I find a female that's that can speak on it and actually uh, presented with her actions Then I'm gonna change my mind But until then Like again No disrespect for her Or any female that Make content like that But all that is bullshit Until y'all Until y'all females Really show us That Y'all really Care And y'all really down for us Like that And again Not all men This is not for all men I understand I know some men Be on bullshit Some men be on other shit is not for all men, not from all men at all, but for the ones that genuinely, you know, need the help or genuinely treat you right and stuff like, you know, shit like that. Instead of just talking about it, do something about it. Actually be there for them. Actually, I don't know. I, I don't know. Be there for them mentally, uh, uplift them, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But again, no disrespect to her or any female at all. But actions actions speak louder than words. That's it. That's all I got to say. I'm never going to be submissive. Shut your ass up. None of y'all hoes give a fuck about our feelings. Like, move the fuck around. The sincerity in your voice that you're sitting there in your car being honest with us is heartwarming. But you know what it's like to spend your entire life not having anybody tell you that you're handsome, attractive, looking desired that you've had to win your relations over by logic or comparing and um, selling yourself to them do you know what it's like to go 18 years without a hug a kiss holding hands being affectionate anyway to another person do you know what it's like to be cast out at the end of your life with no friends or no family You probably don't. And I appreciate your heartfelt words, but you don't know how deep the hurt goes. I've never been able to count on anybody to pay my rent, share my rent, help me with my rent. I've had to do everything on my own. I've had to learn to do it on my own. So I'm glad you appreciate some people, but the ones that are yearning to hear those words have already learned to live without it. They've learned to live without that kind of platitude. 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago, I could have used it and it would have been helpful. But now I don't. I don't need it at all because I've learned to live without it, as a lot of men have. We go unseen, unheard, and uncared for. And no, it'll get better or we'll care about you or you are important matters because we know the truth the damage has been done there's nothing you can do 
as kind as you are, can fix it. It's too late for some of us. I appreciate you. You don't want kids. Stop saying y'all don't want kids. That's a damn lie. Have you considered that some men don't want to have children? They just want to make children? They don't want to raise them, but they want their child to carry his last name. Some men only have children because they'll have a built-in maid, cook, house cleaner, shopper. But have you also considered that some women don't want to have children because they fear a lack of support? being high risk for postpartum depression, fear of not being able to recover mentally or physically because of the changes incurred by pregnancy, having a child isn't a game at all. Man, shut your ass up. None of y'all hoes give a fuck about our feelings. Like, move the fuck around. I don't usually do this, but um, if you're one of those guys that's going through shit, first off, just keep in mind, there's a bunch of us out there, brother. It's always happening. But, uh... Go watch the rest of this video, man. People like this, especially females that are understanding what's going on, are turning into a treasure. She needs to be protected. And to the women out there, um, us men are starting to realize that there are women like this out there. So you guys are probably going to have to step it the fuck up. DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand, mm -hmm. like women can that can speak very little English. So I'm pretty sure that the women in all those countries you just named... Uh, would have a lot to say about the fact that you just called them uneducated. Um, they could probably also say it to you in English because they're not uneducated. Um, why do you, why do these women want to infantilize other women? Like you're trying to make it out as if these women in other countries are just little babies and they can't make a decision on their own. Oh no. No, that's not how it is at all. Like, it, it's so fucking different than anything that you could think of. And on top of it, if you were so, like, against dating these men and marrying these men, why do you give a fuck if the table scraps that you left are going overseas and finding wives and having happy and healthy relationships? Why do you care? Real men catch flights, not feelings. By an you pay attention to the passport rules like they're getting women from like the DR, Columbia. Yes. Uh I think she really thought she ate that statement, bro. But the only thing I heard is y'all competition in the U.S. is bitches that don't have the education, who can't speak English, and they thousand miles away from America. How the fuck, how the fuck do you lose to that? Nigga gotta skip over all the bitches in the United States and go get a passport just for him to find a good woman, bro. And then y'all shame this man's action because y'all not the pick of the litter. Then y'all have to kind of dilute and put smut on these women's name because they treat men how they supposed to be treated because they need men. News motherfucking flash. Men gonna be with women that feels like they need them, bro. Not an independent bitch. We just fuck on independent bitches, to be honest. But go ahead and follow me, dog in the u.s man agenda is definitely on the rise though mm. i think being a sassy is mm. way worse than being a bitch yeah. so, so for all of you that like buy into this like sassy or zesty culture i, I want to try to understand some things right i do know that like we're not the only ones to see this like it not just our age people like younger dudes see these things too like young like like you guys creating this like false sense of security when it comes to like how we feel by saying well why don't y'all just why don't y'all just and then like y'all do stuff like this? Like why would like that's you know y'all don't see how toxic that is? Y'all genuinely don't see how toxic that is to people. And like as men, I feel like we could do a whole lot better job at actually appreciating the ones that do right instead of entertaining the ones that don't and giving them attention. If I was an LGBTQ person, right, I would look at y'all real sideways because like why is everything in a negative connotation got to be gay or something, bro? Express yourself how you express yourself. It's your life, cut. Now, don't feel like they can get that with black men. I agree. Because of the rhetoric that black... Funny how she... Even women that need them. It's women that treat them. Funny how she works off emotion so much, she don't see the contradictions in her words. Literally lacking accountability. But I'm educate you a little bit. Black women are the least married throughout all races. So what does that mean? That means that nobody really is checking for them for marriage. 
So how is it black man's rhetoric when the actions clearly lay out their self? When did stating facts become an attack on people? I just say as a black woman, we have some work to do. Instead of saying, it's the black man talking about us. Get your shit together, baby. A black women now don't feel like they can get that with black men. I agree. Big man agenda is definitely on the rise, though. Mm. I think being a sassy is mm. way worse than being a... Yeah, I like how they're saying the phrase sassy as if it completely and utterly masks their homophobia. Like, I swear to God, I understand that black women have been through a lot, but that is not an excuse for them to get pissed off when they actually do something wrong and a man calls them out on it. Like, they're trying to use... They're literally trying to hurt men's egos, or better yet, I'm not even going to refer to it as egos because we just have feelings. Men have fucking feelings, and they're trying to hurt guys' feelings by comparing them to gay people. Which is stupid, because claiming someone is a certain sexuality simply because of the way that they act or the way their personality is made up is homophobic. And I really do not understand why many black women don't understand this. Like, you're just straight up being homophobic. No, the sassy man agenda. Like, I support Rose. Like, they're getting women from, like, the DR, Columbia, yes. uh, the Philippines. Okay, listen to that whole video uh, that I'm stitching. She is racist as fuck. Um, she was basically saying that women that are in the Philippines, Dominican Republic, and Thailand are basically uneducated and easy to manipulate. And... That's why they're, they submit to men. First of all, in those cultures, you have to come correct. You can't just be a broke motherfucker and be like, oh, I got five wives, like have a fucking harem. No, you actually have to have some business to you. You have to, have, you have to actually be a fucking man with them. You have to be a masculine man, be able to take care of them. You cannot just go there and just, you know, sit and play video games all day no you're going to have to put in some into the passport rolls like they're getting oh the sassy man agenda is definitely on the rise though mm. i think being a sassy is mm. way worse than being a bitch man shut your ass up none of y'all hoes give a fuck about our feelings like move the fuck around you use sassy as an insult and you know what you're trying to do you're trying to hurt the man's ego by being homophobic you want him to be quiet without telling him to be quiet so you insult his character so he gets frustrated and he ends the conversation. You don't want to hear about his problems or his emotional vulnerability. You want him to be the stoic, stereotypical version of what you think a man is. Which is fucking wild. <laughs> you don't like patriarchy, but you still want a man that holds up patriarchal standards. I'm trying to hurt the mission of like a being sassy it's the pettiness it's really yes. it, it's yes. it's strictly pettiness yeah, give really an example of this do. pettiness that you're talking about oh who um so many um, i have so many yeah <laughs> like i have it so it many it should be hard then i'm listening um hmm now i'm not saying that these young ladies are npcs but this is definitely some non-player character type of behavior right here. Regurgitating this whole men are sassy men or zesty type of rhetoric without being able to provide clear examples is quite unsettling. And to be completely honest, it doesn't stop in the relationship space, this whole men versus women. This type of parroting behavior actually spans well past those bounds. Too many people out here are morphing into parakeets. So how about we work on not doing that? Sitting there, you want to be a wife, you want to be loyal. How can, you, how can you do that if you're practicing, you know, sucking fun dip every week? You're not practicing cooking, you're not practicing mental health, you're not practicing how to talk to him, how to cater, how to be submissive, and how to talk to him in a nurturing way. You're practicing sucking pee pee. That's not the same thing. But that's what if that's not what you want? What if you don't want to be? I, I'm only speaking on women who like want to be wives. All the other OF hoes and all those type of girls, I'm not talking about. Not you, but like in general. Being honest.